The Gonzaga Bulldogs easily handled Lewis and Clark State tonight 116 to 61, but there was some big news for the team before that game even started. Yeah, Brenna Green is joining us now to talk about the news and also the position group who had a big game for the Zags tonight. Brenna. Yeah, Mark Whitney, just a few weeks ago, Mark Few spoke about freshman point guard Brock Reve at WCC Media Day and made it seem like Reve was on track to be in the rotation this season. That may not be happening now. He is taking an indefinite leave of absence from the team for personal reasons, according to a Gonzaga press release that was sent right before tip. The Kittitas native is the state of Washington's all-time leading scorer. In a statement, Mark Few says the program is 100% in support of Reve's decision. They did not make any more state statements about it after the game tonight. In terms of the contest, the Gonzaga Bigs showed they could be a really special group this evening. Anton Watson led the way going 12 of 13 for 28 points and added nine rebounds and five assists in his debut. Philip Petrushev was right behind him with 22 points on nine of 12 shooting. Rounding out the trio was Drew Timmy who had 18 points on nine of 10 shooting. He also had nine rebounds and four block shots. No need to get too high or too low when talking about a game against an NAIA team. But you add Killian Tilly into this mix. You better watch out. Few was particularly impressed with his two freshman bigs tonight. Obviously, those two freshmen uh, have been like that all fall, Anton and uh, Drew. So it's, it's exciting to get, get those guys out there, and they're going to hopefully stay healthy and be big contributors this year. I'm prepared for a lot of minutes always. So um, we got not too many guys on the roster this year. Uh, a lot of injuries and a lot of uh, with the Omar the situation. So. I gotta be prepared at all times and ready to play a lot of moves. Gonzaga opens their regular season at home this coming Tuesday against Alabama State at 5 p.m. Mark Whitney.